Do you ever feel like you're the only one out here struggling to keep up? Like everyone else has it together, and you are just falling behind? Oh, absolutely. But I try not to think of it like that. Everyone has got their own battles, James. Most of the time, people just don't talk about it. Maybe that's why I lean on the word of God. They keep me grounded, remind me we're all in the same boat. I don't know how you do it. All this optimism. I mean, how can you really believe everything has a purpose, when life keeps throwing curveballs? You know, it's not about optimism. It's about trusting that God has a bigger picture, even if I can't see it. Like this encouragement from Romans, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him. Romans 8 verse 28. So, you are telling me that even the mess that is my life right now, it's all supposed to work out? Absolutely. Maybe not in the way you expect. But there's always something we can learn, even from the hard stuff. What's something you have learned from the stress lately? Honestly? That I don't like feeling out of control. Not sure that's a revelation though. Maybe it is. It's the first step to realizing what's important to you. And you know, the harder things get, the more I think about that him, my maker and my king. Ever heard it? Not really. But it sounds like something you would sing in church. It's about gratitude, even when we are lost. There is this line that I like. It goes, Thy sovereign bounty is the spring, whence all my blessings flow. It's a reminder to look up, even when we are knee deep in troubles. Guess I can use some of that perspective. Alright, what else you got? Hit me with another verse before I lose my nerve. That's the spirit my friend. Let's keep going. There is a whole world of gratitude out there. Thankful? Sure. I'm supposed to be thankful for an inbox full of work. Hey James. Did you see the email from the boss, about Friday's presentation? Unfortunately, yeah. Just another thing to add to the pile. Come on, it's a chance to shine. Plus, you're great at this stuff. Own it. Thanks Maria. I will try to channel some of that optimism. Try starting with the little things. Gratitude is like a muscle. Build it up, and you will start seeing the good in everything even meetings. Alright Sam, you win. I took your advice. Sort of. Oh, do tell. What did you find to be thankful for? It's small, but I guess I'm thankful for friends, who remind me to look beyond my grumbling. Maria even called gratitude a muscle, that needs practice. Smart woman. Gratitude doesn't come naturally. It's something we train ourselves to see, especially when life is a mess. You know, there's that verse from Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Psalm 23 verse 1. A reminder that no matter what, God is watching out for us. Maybe I can use a bit more of that trust. Guess I haven't let go enough to see what's really important. Hey, it's a start. You have got a whole week to practice, and the rest of your life to do it. One step at a time, right? One step at a time. Thanks Sam. For being there, and for this. Anytime buddy. You will get the hang of it. And who knows? Maybe one day, you will be the one reminding me. Gratitude. Like a muscle. Alright, let's see what I have got. My bed. Feels like the only real comfort I have got some days. And this warm drink. Okay, so that's two things. Not so hard. And this view. Never really noticed how beautiful it is in the morning. Well, someone is in a good mood today. What happened? Did you win the lottery? Not quite. Just trying to look at things differently, I guess. A friend convinced me to start seeing the good in the little things. That friend of yours is a genius. So what is on your gratitude list today? Well, this view from my window. My warm morning drink. And this office, even if it's a bit crazy. Who knew the king of complaints would turn into a gratitude guru overnight? I'm impressed. Let's not go that far. But I will admit, it's kind of nice not starting the day, feeling like the world is against me. Huh. My presentation got rescheduled. Guess that's one less thing to worry about today. See? It's working already. There he is. The man who is finding the silver linings in life. Alright, alright. Don't get too excited. But yeah, I will admit. It feels good to be less weighed down. I knew you had it in you. So what's been the highlight of your gratitude list so far? Honestly? Just not dreading the day as much. 
and realizing I don't have to have it all together. One of those things you mentioned, is actually starting to sink in. There you go. Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The first step to letting go, is realizing that it's okay to not be in control. God's got this. Yeah. I think I'm starting to believe it. That's all it takes a little faith, a little gratitude. And life starts looking a bit brighter, doesn't it? You know, you are right. Even when it's not perfect, it feels manageable. That's the spirit. And remember, one grateful day at a time. What a day. I actually smiled more than I frowned. That's new. Okay, let's see. My bed, good health, a roof over my head, Sam's laughs. And somehow dodging that last meeting. Not too shabby. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I guess it's easier said than done, but today. It felt real. Hey Mr. Gratitude. Just wanted to check in on my favorite philosopher. How's the evening treating you? Pretty good actually. Just sitting here, reflecting on how I actually got through today without losing my mind. That's what I like to hear. You know, I was thinking about our little gratitude experiment. Want to add a twist? I'm intrigued. What do you have in mind? How about we start a gratitude journal? We can write down at least three things we are thankful for each day. It doesn't have to be big, just little things that bring us joy. That could be interesting. You really think it will make a difference? Absolutely. There is something powerful about putting it in writing. It's like a tangible reminder that even on tough days, there's always something to be grateful for. And who knows? It might just become a fun routine for us. I like that idea. It feels good to have something to look forward to, especially as the days get busier. Exactly. And we can share our lists each week. Kind of like a gratitude buddy system. Alright, I'm in. But don't judge my entries, if they include even a glass of water. No judgment here. Whatever makes your heart smile. Just remember. Every good gift, and every perfect gift is from above. I will keep that in mind. Thanks for always pushing me to see the brighter side of things Sam. I really appreciate it. Hey, that's what friends are for. Now, go grab your journal, and let's get this gratitude party started. Okay, here we go. Week 1 of the Gratitude Chronicles. I will start. Number 1. My warm milk. Can't believe how much I look forward to it every morning. You are really committed to that warm milk? Good choice. Mine is waking up to a clear sky. Can't beat that. Good one. Alright, number two for me. My surprise day off from work. I didn't realize how badly I needed that break. Nice. I wrote down our park picnic last week. Just chilling with nature, and laughing felt so refreshing. I actually remembered to take a moment to appreciate the little things. It's been eye-opening. That's the spirit. And how about number three? Let's see. Discovering new music. I found this amazing artist that totally brightened my week. I even listened to that hymn you were talking about, My Maker and My King. Turns out I really loved it. Love that. For me, it's been connecting with you more. It's like the gratitude journal sparked something in our friendship. I couldn't agree more. It's nice to share these moments, instead of just racing through life. And that's why gratitude is so important. It reminds us to cherish what we have, not just what we want. You know, I think I'm starting to see life differently Sam. It feels less heavy. That's what I was hoping for. Remember, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. We are on the right path. I really like this. It's like we are building a treasure trove of memories, and joys together. Exactly. And each week, we will add more blessings to our journals. Who knows what else we will discover? Bring it on. I'm ready for this gratitude adventure. Can you believe it? It has been a month since we started this? Time flies when you keep appreciating even the little things in life. What's been your favorite thing about our gratitude journey? I think it's how it changed my perspective. I'm genuinely more thankful. Like every morning, I'm able to get my leg out of bed. There are many who are unable to do that. I remember all the little moments that bring me joy. That's beautiful. It's like your heart is learning to recognize the blessings amidst the chaos. Exactly. It's made me realize how important it is to celebrate the little things. 
I feel lighter, and it's helped me handle stress better. That's what it's all about. It's in those little moments that we find true happiness. Like this moment right now, good friends, good drinks, and nature. What more could we ask for? You know, I think I finally understand what you meant about, in everything give thanks. It's about appreciating all aspects of life, even the messy bits. Exactly. And let's not forget Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. It feels empowering to approach life with a heart full of gratitude. I can face whatever comes next. And I can truly say that I am happy, I get to read my Bible more this past month. It's quite refreshing and eye-opening. And you are not alone in it. We are in this together. Let's keep our gratitude journals, and continue to share. For sure. I can't wait to see where this journey takes us next.